Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you want to design and build a beautiful website, you can do it all in one place with Squarespace. Dancing with you under cotton candy skies. Got me feeling like I'm on a sugar high. Hello everyone, welcome to another studio vlog. This week I am going to be focusing on working towards my next store drop. You've seen the shirt, you've seen a little sneak peek of that. I think you saw me making stickers, but there's a couple more things I want to do and I need to start prepping like the listings and shooting everything and stuff like that. There's a lot of like work that goes into creating the content for the store. I don't know if this is on the floor or from the floor, but this is my to-do list. This is for Chris, this stuff, so this is how much stuff I need to do. And I'm gonna try and fit it into this vlog, but if I can't, then you'll just see like most of what I'm doing. But I've got two things that are more urgent to do. So I put little stars next to them, which is in order for them to come on time, ready to do the store launch. So I haven't actually planned a date. What I want is for it to be in early December. It was originally gonna be in late November, but that just kind of went out the window. So yeah, I'm gonna start today with finishing my giant sticker set and designing the thank you cards. Now I did one of my stickers yesterday, which I'm in love with, let me show you. This is what I did yesterday. This is gonna be, I wanna make um, two giant stickers. So I want them to be about a five width. So it'd be like this. And I did this yesterday, which I really like. Whoops. So basically it's gonna be like this. And then I'm going to do the cut lines um, like this. So, I don't know, we'll see. This is the first time I'm doing this, so I hope it works exactly how I want it to. Today I also want to finish this one, which is the other shape that I want to do. So I'm going to do the rendering, and then I'm going to take these into Illustrator and do the cut lines as well. Let's do it. I can spend forever in your paradise. It's just us tonight on a sugar high. Never really was a sweet tooth. And then suddenly I met you Now I'm mesmerized By your chocolate eyes Always knew you were different Never knew what I was missing How did I survive Without dancing with you Under cotton candy skies You got me feeling like I'm on a sugar high I could spend forever in your paradise On a sugar high Just you and I Sweeter since the day you put your lips on mine for the first time. For the first time, you're replacing all my bitter days with peppermint and candy canes, and I can't get enough for you. When we're dancing underneath the cotton candy skies. You got me okay, so like finally I've done. I tried to do something a little different, which meant it take, took a little bit longer because I didn't really understand. Basically, I created these like rough outlines. So this is where it's going to be cut. Um, so the stick is going to be like this big chunky thing with color all the way to the edge rather than white, which is what I usually do because I want it to be white to the line. I roughened this cut line. And so essentially I've created like what it will look like. It will look like this when it's peeled. I'm just gonna keep my, lots of stickers and use them on stuff for myself. But oh, this is exactly what I wanted it to look like. I'm so happy with how like, especially with how the rough cut has turned out because it kind of looks like the lines that I usually use on Procreate. Yippee! So I'm gonna send this off today and see what um, how long the ETA is and how much it's gonna cost. Have you noticed we've been up all night? 
seems so sudden, but it feels so right, and I love it. You're exactly what I need. I'm gonna quickly show you how I edit uh, my paintings from a scan. So this is the most recent scan I did. I already scanned it the other day, but it was a bit blurry, so I just re-scanned it. And sometimes that happens when the paper's a little bowed from the watercolor or whatever. A lot of you asked why I had like that, um, I put cardboard into the scanner, that's just to make sure that it's flat. So anyway, we're gonna drag in our scan. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but obviously like the white of the paper is not completely white. This is fully white. This is a kind of a gray and I'm sure there's a little bit of paper texture and we wanna remove that because obviously there's gonna be paper texture on the paper of the print so we don't need it and we don't want it to be printed. So all I do is press W which brings out the magic wand tool. I'll set the tolerance to about 20. I highlight that and highlight every little bit. What this does is it kind of just selects roughly the parts that are the same color and the tolerance changes how like sensitive the wand is and then I'll also highlight the bit around the paper just because sometimes it leaves a little edge and then I'll just click the mask icon here and it should mask it out command I for inverting and then it's done that's it it's really simple I just that's just what I've done over the years sometimes you need to adjust the mask if the edges are a little like incorrect and usually like I don't need to do that for this one because it was pretty spot on I would first try and adjust the tolerance if it's not right but then if it's still not right I'll go down to the layer and double click on the mask. Then you can shift the edge out. If you wanna check like if there's any unwanted speckles or if the mask is correct, is just to create like a solid color layer and make it black. And you can, you'll can you be able to see like all the little bits that you don't want. Get rid of those. But just little bits, just to make it perfect. And then I'll export that as the TIFF so that Chris can adjust it if he needs to because he does the printing. Hope this was helpful. Should probably break the news that I don't want to fight it no more Cause I've never really felt this before Can you tell me how you feel then? Cause I'm staring at the ceiling Thinking about you constantly Thinking about what we could be You make my heart skip a beat This is my favorite part Okay, let me see where we are yeah. So we can cross things off. I scanned all my pieces, edited my show pieces, saved them, uploaded to Dropbox. For the giant stickers that I designed them, we're getting quotes at the moment. For the sticker sheet, I haven't done any of that. Print tags and buy string. I created, I created some listings while I was at the cafe. You guys saw me doing that. And this really helps me. This is like a hot tip that I have. When you're about to do a store update, create listings for all of the things so that as you get stuff done, like shooting it, getting content prepared, doing listings, you can see it being filled up and it's really, really motivating. It's getting late, so the lighting's kind of crap, but I got a package, so let's open it. First, let's look at the details. Oh, that's a nice stamp. That's a nice stamp. So this package is from Scotty Gillespie. Gillespie? I think that's how you pronounce it. Maybe it's not. Sorry if it's not. So I ordered a bunch of ceramics, and I'm excited. I've had my eye on their work for so long, but when I first discovered them, the shop wasn't open, and then there was a release, but it's like I had my eye on specific things. Okay, I'll just fish everything out, and then I'll open it and show you. Okay, I'm ready. I think that they do their wrapping paper um, themselves on a Rezo machine. Rezo card. It's so lovely. I forgot I bought that. Oh, a little note. Oh. oh my god. Okay, let me read this. Hi, Sean. Hope this gets to you safe and sound. I made you a small extra gift because you said how much you love apples, but also as a thank you for being so inspiring and a positive figure in this crazy world of illustration. It's a little apple trophy because let's face it, if there's an actual apple competition, you'd probably win. <laughs> oh, cutie. 
a trophy. Wow, I'm so excited. But first, let me show you what I got. So I wanted to get this for Tonky's food. <gasps> a little bowl, it's so cute. And look at the little stamp on the bottom, details. I think this is gorgeous. It maybe seems like crazy to buy ceramics for my cat, but guess what? We are the jesters, he is the king. Oh, look, so cute. Tonky, do you like this? Maybe dry food in this, maybe wet food in this. Oh my God, so effing cute. Oh my God, I can't get over this. I'm so happy and I got this. I managed to get it. These stickers, I got two of these because my computer's getting very, very old. It's from like 2015, so I'm concerned it's gonna die soon. I'm not gonna buy a new computer until I absolutely have to, but. Or three. But I want to put one on my laptop, put one on my sketchbook, and then save one for like a rainy day. More details. Oh, incredible. A thank you card. So cute. I actually designed thank you cards for my store today too. So I'm really excited about this because I did not expect it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, I feel really hot suddenly. Oh my god, this is so cute. A little trophy, I love this. I'm gonna put it next to my Forest Mori apples. Come watch. Da, da, da. Incredible. Apple friends, just the apple friends. <laughs> Move this away, put the friends together. Apple friends. I just want to say thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. As you guys know, I love Squarespace, but it's especially in times like this when I'm updating my store that I really, really appreciate the product that they create. The back end, which is what you see as a user, is so gorgeous, so easy to use. Once you have your text and your images, it can take you minutes to set up your entire store. And I also love that my store reflects the rest of the website. There aren't many platforms that do that very well, like have a good store system as well as having a good website system. And that's why I think that it's the best for like creators like me, anyone that wants a store attached to what they do or a blog attached to what they do. It's a great like all in one platform. As someone that runs their store, it's really useful to have analytics, stuff like where my customers are stuff like which products are selling the most, a really easy way to see how much each product is earning and how much you've earned overall. It's just nice to have those statistics if you want them. I wholeheartedly recommend Squarespace as a store platform, as a portfolio platform, as a blog platform, as anything that you can think of as an online space, you will be able to make it with Squarespace. If you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend it. It's free if you go to squarespace.com slash peach, you get a two week free trial and 10% off your first purchase. Thank you, Squarespace. I love you. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video with some nice calming drawing. You'll see me um, finishing off my store stuff probably the next few vlogs. I definitely want to have my next store drop in the next couple of weeks and the store will only be open for two weeks. So the prints that are there are limited edition in that they're only going to be available for two weeks. Um, I'll have shirts, but there's a limited number. I'll have sticker sets. I'll have sticker pairs, like sticker sheets and sticker sets. I'll have my Peach Tober originals, which I'm really excited about. But if you want to keep updated on that stuff, follow me on Instagram because I update that way more frequently. It's really hard for me to make videos for store lodges because I've got all this other stuff to do. Or on Twitter because I'll post it there as well. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye. Also, pat on the back to me. I did one video every week this month. Oh my God, I've never done that before. I don't think I can keep it up, but it was nice while it lasted. <laughs> Okay, bye.